Hello, my name is Anna Maslukova. I am TMS Clinical Application Specialist. Today I represent Nerasoft company Russia. Now we will demonstrate workflow of uh, major depression disorder treatment with using TMS machine. Let's start. Run Nera MSNet program. Press new treatment button on start page. In the treatment window that appears, enter patient data. Make sure that course item is selected in treatment protocol drop down menu. Press button. Make sure that FDA approved protocol is selected. Confirm your choice. Confirm your choice once more. Ask the patient to fill in safety checklist. Make sure that the patient has no contraindication. Don't forget to use earplugs for the patient and for yourself. Motor threshold is determined in a single pulse tap. Motor threshold is the minimum intensity in percentage of a device's maximum output of stimulation to induce a visible contraction of a target muscle in 15% of the time, usually 5 visible contractions out of 10 stimuli. Uh, before you start stimulation, we need to find vertex. As a middle point, of the line between external auditory meters. This is vertex. Go 5 cm leftward toward external auditory meters. This is area where I will begin stimulation. Loosen the screw of flexible arm to move the coil. Place the coil at 45 degrees in horizontal plane this way. Note the handle is downward and backward. I can start stimulation by shut button on the coil, pulse button on the magnetic stimulator or button in the near MSNet program. I can adjust amplitude by node on the front panel of magnetic stimulator or use button in the Nero MSNet program. Be sure that the stimulation amplitude is 40% and 40% is uh, selected on the magnetic stimulator and in the program. It is necessary to prevent um, discomfort and local pain in the patient. Ask the patient to relax right hand, deliver one pulse and observe muscle contraction. If there are no muscle contraction, try to move the coil about 2 cm uh, around the reference point in a grid like pattern. Take attention, one move, one pulse and observe it. One move, one pulse and observe it. And once more, and once more. If there are no visible muscle contraction, increase the intensity of the stimuli by 5%. And repeat. One pulse, observe. One movement, stop, pulse, observe. 
One moment, stop, pause, observe. Moment, stop, pause, observe. If there are no visible muscle contraction, increase the amplitude by 5%. And repeat. Pulse, observe, movement, pulse, observe, movement, pulse, observe, movement. Now I see the muscle contraction and uh, I need to find the point where the um, stimulation with the same intensity uh, will cause the maximum visible muscle contraction. To do this, move the coil uh, about two centimeters about uh, around uh, reference point and observe muscle contraction. This is hot spot. Fix the position of the coil using the screw on the flexible arm. Decrease the amplitude by 5% and repeat the stimulation. Until the muscle contraction is not seen. After that, Decre uh, increase the stimulation by 2% step and deliver stimulus until the muscle contraction is seen. After that, decrease the amplitude by 1% step. For this patient, the mock of threshold is 43%. And now we fix muscle threshold. Go to the repetitive session mode. To start the repetitive simulation session, use button on coil or pass button on magnetic stimulator or start simulation button in the program. Once stimulation button is pressed, the dialog box inviting you to move the coil appears on the display. Lose the screw on flexible arm Move the coil 5 cm anterior. Fix the position of the coil using the screw on flexible arm. This is the position for simulation. Ensure the coil is making contact with patient head and ask the patient to remain still for duration of the treatment. Make sure a patient feels comfortable and can stand the treatment, otherwise the treatment will be ineffective. Press OK button in the dialog box, the same action can be performed if you just press a button on the coil. During treatment, remain in the room with the patient and periodically check to ensure the coil and the patient are in the same position. When intervention is completed, the software will display a dialog box informing on intervention completion. Press OK button, move the coil up and away from the patient head. To end the treatment, use tool button, press yes button in the appear dialog box. To close the program, use toolbar button. Today is the second visit. Find a patient in latest list of start window and click it. The program will automatically open the next unexecuted session. To start the repetitive stimulation session, use button on coil or pulse button on magnetic stimulation or start stimulation button in the program. Once stimulation button is pressed, the dialog box inviting you to place the coil appears on the display. Position the coil at treatment location. Fix the coil position securely using the screws on a holder arm. Ensure the coil is making contact with the patient head and ask the patient to remain still for the duration of the treatment. 
Also, make sure a patient feels comfortable and can stand the treatment, otherwise the treatment will be ineffective. Press OK button in the dialog box The treatment is started.